Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty YouTuber that's trying to have a long nobody. And today it's my second day in my Halloween week, my first. I think I'm going to have two Halloween weeks, so this is my first Halloween week. And I have picked out five palettes in my collection that I want to use for this week and I will leave that video up here. But today I am using the whatever palette from Colourpop and now I have either an eyelashes, eyelash or a catter in my eye. And I am not like, I, I know what I want to do, <laughs> but I don't know which colors I want to use because I want to do a halo eye. And I was like, okay, if I'm going to do Halloween looks, I want to do kind of dark looks, but I actually think I will go more to the orange with this palette and do an orange look because I don't think that I'm able to do an orange look with all the palettes I have. So I actually think that I would do that. And this is one of these palettes, you know, like, you're not planning on buying it, but then you are on <laughs> Colourpop's website and you just can't maybe I take another palette. So... I think the shimmer I want to use is this one and also this one because you know my new favorite thing apparently when I'm doing a halo eye is doing tapping on a lighter shimmer in the middle so I guess I will do that so I think I actually will start with copycat this one and take it in my crease and it's not often or always that I do a crease color in my Halo-wise, but sometimes I do and sometimes I do not. And I don't know. This palette I haven't... I think I've used it one time. Maybe two times? I can't actually remember and I have had it for so long. It's almost like a little bit embarrassing how long I have had it and only using it once. And the thing is, the look that I did... I the love so so much it was a really deep look and it was off cut crease of course and i was in love with that look so i don't know i haven't used this palette more it doesn't feel like this was one of colourpop super popular palettes actually okay i am Ooh, this is the problem with this palette because now <laughs> I'm using this one and I don't know, I think it looks kind of not that orange in the pan, but like on the eyes it looks more orange. And I do like it. It's nothing, it's only on the positive side because I do love orange eyeshadow. But I always think it's a little bit hard to use palettes when the shadows doesn't look on the eyes as they do in the pan. But this was like in the better way. So for my halo, I think I want to take this, pass it on and ditch in you this one. And I will do... Because the latest I've done like this super easy halo eyes when you take one matte shadow all over the lid and then you cut the crease but i think i actually just want to try to take this pass it on from outer and inner and i don't know how dark this is i swatched it it wasn't that dark but on the brush it looks really dark so we will see it's not that dark this is a really really nice i can't remember this whatever palette if it when it came out, if it was like a more Valentine's palette, or if it was, I just can't remember. I can't even remember if it was a new uh, release when I bought it, probably not. Or if it, yeah, just one, just was one of these palettes, like, I don't know, when I... I'm not on a no-buy and I've shopped from Colourpop for me it's I have to pay the shipping is usually I think it's free international I think it's free worldwide over $50 maybe so I 
usually try to go over that when I shop at Colourpop so I don't have to pay shipping but then I have to pay taxes and everything so sometimes I'm just maybe at like four to six dollars and like okay maybe I want whatever palette so I take it it's what I can remember I like can't remember my thoughts when I bought this but I think it was one of these palettes that I wasn't on Colourpop to buy this exact palette but like I, I do like it every time I use it and I think it looks really cool and this looks good does it look super Halloweeny I don't know but it's orange at least so I'm going to cut my halo with my NYX glitter primer and I'm going to take this ditching you I hope it will work. Taking a small little brush from Nabla and cutting away. And this must be so boring to watch when I cut the halo. I think I want to take it pretty far out on the matte head as well. Like this NYX glitter primer changed my life. I don't know how I could survive without that. Maybe these are a little bit like too similar. And if you didn't know that like orange is one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow colors. I guess a little bit of that is because orange and like rusty colors goes really good together with my blue eyes. Um, but also like I'm not the person that often dress in color which you may have known which you may have seen I mean but orange eyeshadow has been something that I've been liking like since the beginning that I started to use makeup I that orange is the first like colorful color I did use and I do love it and I don't do orange look that much anymore. But when I do, I love them. So I'm just going in with the, the Pass It On shade, the matte shade, and tap it off and just go over. And I think I'm going to have shimmers all over my face. I like this. They are really like similar, the matte and the shimmer, but I do not mind at all. It almost looks like a whole shimmer lid, maybe, but not really. Okay, so I'm going to take this Tarte <laughs> and put it on my pinky. And I don't know why I love to do this, because this has never been a thing for me before. But I guess you're like allowed to change your mind. Just a little bit like that. And what I really like... And why I really like to do that is because I think it gives a little like dimension, but it's not like too much of the shadow you put over. So I really like that a little extra. And okay, I will <laughs> cut my crease. No, cut my halo. I don't know what's up with me. Maybe I did sleep too long for once. I almost slept for like nine hours. That's not a thing. If I'm sleeping six hours, I'm happy. If it's nine hours, maybe I stop working. <laughs> I don't know. But I will cut the other halo, fix my base, and then come back. And I think I'm going to do this pretty like an orange look. Like maybe some orange lipstick and maybe an orange blush as well. We will see. But I will fix the rest and then I'll come back. This is the finished look. <laughs> I do love it. And... I talked in my video yesterday that I wanted to try to match my clothes so I did a look with the moon spell yesterday and I had moons on my shirt and today I do actually maybe I should stand up have a ghost with an orange like outline so I guess I did match today as well even though you can't see it so okay for my face I did use ombra from Nabla and also this two reasons in soft nude I use 
used both this one for my blush and this one as my highlighter for my eyes i did use this one from nyx i can never remember the name she bang and for my lips i did use terra from kaleidos it's their lip glaze it's not my favorite formula like mousse lipsticks isn't for me and yeah this is my look with the whatever palette so i did use tarte in like the middle of my halo complicating my crease pass it on as the matte shade and ditching you in <laughs> as the halo and i really like this look i like that it is that orange because when you look at this i don't think like this copycat look orange like at all but it, it was kind of orange and this i think it's more like orangey terracotta more terracotta than i thought and uh, it's itching in my nose see i do really like like this look i do love orange as you may know so i'm super happy with this and i'm so happy now that i've done an orange look for this halloween week that wasn't my plan but um, orange is a halloween color so i guess that's good and none of the other palettes that i'm going to use is going to have or I, i'm not going to be able to do an orange look no so yeah i do hope that you like this video and i hope that you like this week uh, it's so fun to do theme weeks and it's going to be so fun to use the palettes for this week and I'm so looking forward to it. So yeah, if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!